New at 5, the smothering heat has us all looking for shade. Luckily, there is a garden in Midtown for people to find relief and maybe even learn a little something. That's right. Two Works for You reporter Lisa Jones takes us to Tulsa's own secret garden. You may have seen the cobblestone row just off Peoria at about 24th Street. But unless you go all the way around the garden center and to the back of Woodward Park, you're missing out on a true Tulsa treasure. And so this was a, a working barn. Until Barry Fugit got a hold of it, these two acres in a corner of Woodward Park were just sloped pasture and a place to store equipment. For more than 30 years, he's been teaching OSU students and anyone else who will listen about gardening. What I like to tell people and my students when they go through the training here is that it's an outdoor classroom. Fugit created and designed the Linnaeus Teaching Garden, named after the Swedish scientist and his work in naming plants. A place of beauty with many native plants, others are simply given a chance to adapt. Some are annuals, others come back every year. There's a water garden for plants and fish and a vegetable garden that shows kids where their food actually comes from. This one is one of my favorites, it's brand new. It's a kind of tomato that grows wild in Mexico. Volunteers will show you around or you're encouraged to relax and enjoy the spirit of the place. I went to medical school here at OSU in Tulsa um, and I used to come here on my lunch breaks. It's about 10 degrees cooler at the top of the garden and a good place to look down and wonder. When you walk through Linnaeus, you see things like, well, I could do that. That's on a scale that I could do in my backyard. There are many ways that you can support the Linnaeus Gardens. These pavers sell for $100. You can put your name on them, the name of a loved one, or even a pet. But Barry Fugit acknowledges the only way this place could stay open is because of volunteers. There are 356 of them right now, and a new training class starts August 12th. The Monarchs will migrate through the garden this fall. Barry Fugit and all the volunteers at Linnaeus hope you won't wait that long to visit. Lisa Jones, Two Works For You.